Hey everybody, Coach Zappi back with day six workout for you. Today is 3-31-2020. I know with being on quarantine, some of us forget what day it is and even what day of the week it is. But today is Tuesday the 31st if you're keeping up with us. Now today's workout is a different format workout than we've done in the past. It is 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 of work today. So that means 10 total rounds. The first round you're doing 10 repetitions. Next round, nine repetitions, eight, seven, six, and so on until you get to that last round of only one rep per exercise. The exercises that we're gonna be doing today, elbows to knee, that's a new one, I'm gonna demonstrate that one for you. Working on our core with that one. Uh, bridges, we did a kind of a variation of that the other day, but I'm gonna show you how to correctly do it with both feet down this time. And then a chair dip. I'm gonna teach you different variations of chair dips as well in case you don't have the materials that you need. Now throughout today's workout, I'm going to be talking about three key terms, endurance, intensity, and tempo. I will be providing you guys with the definitions for each one of those, and at the end of the week, look forward to a quiz to keep you studying what we're talking about in these workouts. Now, let's begin with knees to elbow. Knees to elbow, very good, very easy exercise. You're going to get your feet just shoulder width apart. Hands are going to be up in the air like this. And I'm going to take my right knee to my left elbow. And I'm going to meet somewhere in the middle working on crunching the abdominal muscles. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Right there, I'm working intensely for myself. And I'm also creating a very nice and steady tempo. Okay, look at the definition below for tempo, all right? Moving on to the next exercise, bridges. These are gonna be working on our glutes, all right? I'm gonna provide you guys with the side angle. Your feet are down, I'm in the up sit up position right now. I'm gonna lean back like this. I'm gonna put my feet down on the ground like this. Excuse me, my hands, what am I talking about? My hands like this. I'm gonna lift my glutes up in the air, creating a nice line. I want to act like there's a board in my body so it stays nice and straight. I'm going to go up just like this. I'm nice and flat. That's one. I'm going to drop my hips back to the ground. Two. Down to the ground. Three. Back down to the ground. And four. Now, again, working on a tempo. This is a workout which you're going to do as fast as you can. However, you want to be under control so you don't cause injury, all right? The last exercise that we're going to show you to do is the chair dip. I have a bench right here that I'm going to use. You can use a chair, you can use your couch, you can use a, a low table if you can. Uh, anything to get you off the ground. I'm going to sit down just like that. I'm going to put hand just right outside my hips. And I'm going to walk my feet straight out like this. Now, this is an exercise to put tension on your triceps. How many heads of the tricep muscle are there? That's right, there's three. All right, here we go. I'm gonna drop down 90 degrees with my elbows. Gonna come back up, that's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Now remember, you have to do ten of each exercise for the first round. The second round, you're going to be doing nine. Go ahead and draw it out on the board for yourself or on a sheet of paper to help you remember what round you're on. After each round, cross one out and move on to the next one. Now, this workout might seem easy for some of you right away, but it's going to get a little bit more intensive throughout the repetitions that you do in each round. So that's where we talk about endurance, muscular endurance. Take a look at the definition below, all right? Now, we talked about a little bit of intensity. The intensity is how hard you push yourself. Below, I'm in including a, a better definition that you're gonna be quizzing at the end of the week, but the harder that you push yourself, the more difficult this workout's gonna be. Do the best that you can do. Challenge yourself to become better. Maybe reach out to one of your friends and challenge them to beat your time. All right, Woo! we'll see you next week.